Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Vanisha Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell so when I am uploading on YouTube, you are notified. I'm gonna bring you another makeup look for you guys. So the look I'm going to bring for you today day since right now sephora is having its vib sale and i do take advantage of the vib sales so i'm going to bring you a makeup look with some of my recommendations that i think you need to try out from the sephora v vib sale the last vib sale i did I uh, took advantage of from Sephora. I want to say it was around the Thanksgiving, Christmas, holiday, somewhere up in there. Um, I walked, literally walked out of Sephora saying discount, double check. <laughs> and my kids were literally like, really? Really? Because my kids know I have no problem spending a couple hundred dollars in Sephora. I, I have no problem doing that. Um, I've even gone in Sephora and got cologne for my husband because he was literally like, okay, since you're going to Sephora, can you pick me up this style, this, this cologne here? And I did, and the cologne, he'd be liking, yeah, mm, yeah. Those discounts help a whole lot. So I'm going to give you some of my favorites that I would like to recommend for you. And even for those that I'm not showing on the channel, there are some other things I will be talking about in this video. So you can take advantage of the Sephora VIB sale. So let's go ahead and get started. And as always, I have my handy dandy mirror with me. So we're going to first start with priming. I did cleanse my face before uh, I got started here. So the first primer I'm going to bring to you guys, this is, oh, I got something on it. Huh? I got makeup on my primer, <laughs> literally. And I use this primer quite a bit. I didn't realize I was had been really using it. Won't be long. I'm gonna need another bottle. But again, you can get this brand at Sephora, and I would definitely say take advantage of this brand because they have come out with a lot of new products that I will be um, doing a review on my channel soon. So the primer will be Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Hydrating Primer. I'm going to go with this today. So if you have not tried anything Fenty try Fenty out. Fenty is a very good brand, one of my favorite high-end brands. I would say anything I do a repeat of on my channel with updated makeup, Fenty is one of them. The other one, if we want to talk drugstore, it is um, Elf. So we are going to start with the primer first. This primer, this is their hydrating primer. Um, the, I believe this is, is it $35, $32? So take advantage doing the VIB sale, really take advantage of, um, this primer. Another very good primer that I really like, very hydrating. It is the Milk Makeup Hydra Grit Primer. I really like that primer. I got the mini. The mini is $15 or you can get the full size of the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip Primer. That primer, the full size is $30 and it does last a long time. I know that mini has lasted me a long time. Uh, that is a very good hydrating primer. And when you rub the primer in, it does go on uh, sticky. So I would definitely say also check that primer out. Um, another, well, there's a primer I'm gonna be trying out soon on my channel, also from Fenty, it's their matte primer. I'm gonna be trying that out soon. Um, so take advantage of these products because these I really use those two products a whole lot when we're talking high-end uh, primers I do use those two primers a lot there's another high-end primer um it's it's okay uh, I'm not gonna mention it because it's a high, again it's a high-end brand but uh, it's, it's like mm, I think I've only brought it to my channel one time long time ago for foundation if y'all don't know by now, this is my Rotted Eye Foundation. I've had this foundation on my Rotted Eye Makeup um, look I did not too long ago. I'll put that video in the cards above. If you don't have anything, if you do not have this foundation, this is by far my favorite high-end foundation. So I am talking about the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. The shade I have is Chai. This is one of the extended um, foundation shades that Jackie Ina cre uh, create, helped create. Um, I believe this foundation is $39, but take advantage of that VIB sale. Because I'm telling you, 
I had me some pretty good discounts. And I didn't use it so much to buy a little mess and it's almost gone. I'm made doing this VIB sale. Go ahead and pick me up another bottle. Oh, I really, really, really like this foundation. By far, my absolute favorite foundation. So take advantage. Definitely take advantage of the VIB sale. So I'm going to use this very soft sponge. I actually got this sponge from Walgreens. <laughs> so definitely take advantage of the VIB sale. And I want to say it's going on through like the end of next week, I believe, when I read. But definitely take advantage of it. And, they re and I'm telling you, even some high-end stuff that... um. You really didn't want to pay full price for. Um, definitely take advantage of the VIB sale. Um, another foundation you may want to check out. Check out the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. Um, that foundation, um, I want to say it's $35. Check it out. Um, I know I don't wear it very often. But it, I mean, it's, a, it's. I actually think they should have came out with that foundation then that matte than that map that first foundation that um Fenty came out with. So definitely take advantage of that sale while it's going on. Uh, another brand I'm going to be taking that you should take advantage of that I will be bringing to my channel for the first time very soon. That is Pat McGrath. Um, I know her foundation is $68. Take any discount you can with Pat McGrath. <laughs> take any discount with Pat McGrath. <laughs> Let me get that worked into the skin. I may do an updated Too Faced. I know Too Faced have a lot of stuff, but these are like my main two. I really, really like bring that down. There we go. There we go. All right, so for concealing. We're going to stick with Too Faced. So I am going to be using the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. The shade I have is Maple. I believe this is $29 or $30 or something like that. But again, take advantage. And I only do one swipe of the concealer. Little highlighting in to define my contour. Another concealer you want to take advantage of, again, if you've not tried anything um, Fenty, try it out during this VIB sale. It's going to be, this is the first one they will have, uh, their second VIB sale is usually around the Thanksgiving, Christmas holidays. Um, so definitely take advantage. So this is, this concealer, it's like my second favorite concealer. Of course, my favorite, favorite concealer is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. Check out that concealer. That's a pretty good concealer. Another very, very good concealer, as well as another foundation you need to take advantage of during the VIB sale. It is um, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation and Concealer. Oh my goodness, that concealer is so creamy. Oh my goodness, it is so creamy. And that foundation, the finish is very, very good. It's a very good finish. So I definitely would also recommend Urban Decay. Well, check that out. And they have a great shade range. Very good shade range. I believe that foundation is like $38. But with your VIP discount, you're saving a little money. I know I like to save money. <laughs> and if you think a lot of my makeup is high-end makeup, actually, if you go in my room, the vast majority of my makeup is drugstore. Because I have my drugstore staples I really like to use. Like um, my e.l.f. Of course, I use my own brand, Vam Cosmetics. Vam Cosmetics um, is my prices are drugstore prices. So if I were to go into a store one day, 
I would probably more be in Ulta than Sephora because I don't have high-end products. Or I should say high-end prices, rather. There we go. So that concealer really blended into the skin really, really well. And I did define my contour right here. Because I really am not into all that contouring like I used to do. Um, I don't know. I'm just not into it. And I'm not really into blu putting on blush today. I don't know. But I will do a highlight. Um, just the slightest um, highlight. I should go nude because of my shirt that I'm wearing. You can't really see. But today is also the NFL draft. And I am representing the LSU Tigers because we know who's going number one in the draft overall. Uh, hello, the current Heisman Trophy winner. That's LSU, Joe Burrow. Da ha ha. Uh, so, yeah, you can't see, but I'm wearing my LSU Tigers. <laughs> So, um, for those of you that are new to my channel, I do set my face twice. So, the first setting powder, I actually had to get used to this setting powder. I really didn't care for the setting powder at first. And my daughter was like, I don't know why. Watch, you're going to keep using it. You're going to keep using it. And I actually had to get used to the setting powder. And it's pretty. It's a pretty good setting powder. But I have a mini. So, you get either a mini or get the full size. Again, take advantage of the Sephora VIB sale. So, this first setting powder, this is from Laura Mercier. This is the translucent setting powder. Um, again, I have a mini, and again, I had to get used to it. I did not think, really, when I first tried it, I was like, what's all the hype about this setting powder? But now, after using it a few times, I'm like, okay, now I see why. <laughs> I see why. It really melts in the skin really, really well. And I believe this mini, I think I paid $20 for this mini. I think the full size is like $30, $35. And to say this mini has lasted me a long time. I don't really run for it. If you think I'm putting on too much, I do bake no more than 60 seconds. But what I do is I dip into the powder and then I'm mashing some of this excess onto the you know, over here. I don't want to go too overboard with this. And that's what I'm doing. I'm tapping it over there. It's like I'm going in the, the here and then I'm going in another spot. <laughs> As my daughter is on the phone and I can hear her. I, again, I do bake, but no more than 60 seconds. I don't bake for very long. I can't, I can't stand how people will put the bake under. And I understand they're trying to catch fallout from their eyeshadow, but when they sweep it off, they're lightening their skin even more so. And it's like, for me, it throws the look off. I am sweeping this off my face. And see with that, I continue to chisel out my contour. Let's see, I have my contour. Now, if you really want to deepen your contour, you can. With a bronzer contour, however. There we go. Yeah, I told you, my daughter is loud. They don't have to be on the camera for the kind of day. She is on a video chat, and she's not using her inside voice. <laughs> so see there we go so we got that look going so for the second setting powder I'm going to use an absolute favorite of mine this is from Fenty Beauty this is their setting powder the shade I have is Nutmeg and for this setting powder this setting powder does have a scent to it if you again have not tried anything Fenty Beauty she does have a lot of scents in her setting powders and what I do I take the brush dip in it and then I take the access off of it I don't need that much. And I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to buff it into my skin. Because I am going to go over with a bronzer. I'm chasing a bronzer a little bit. So try the Laura Mercier setting powder. That's a good setting powder. Also try the Fenty Beauty setting powder. That's also a really good setting powder. Another setting powder 
that I was surprised about was from KVD. Um, formerly Kat Von D is now KVD. Their, her setting powder is really, really, really good. So try that setting powder out as well. So um, KVD has a real good setting powder as well. So I would say also try that out. Take a look at that. There we go. So we got that into the skin. So now I'm going to put that up. So next, we're going to go with bronzing. I'm going to recommend two bronzers for you to check out if you haven't checked them out. And I kind of, I am so used to one of them. And I know I bring this one on my channel quite a bit. But I decided to change it up a little bit. Uh, you know, do somewhat of some changing. Because I'm all, it's always seems like I bring the same things over and over again on my channel. So I want to try to change some things up. So the bronzer I'm going to bring to my channel as one of my kids is coming up the hallway because they're loud as hell. Geez, I wonder which one it is. Of course, my son. I told you they don't have to be on the camera for the comedy here. They don't have to be. Right. Okay, so the bronzer I'm going to recommend that you definitely check out if you haven't checked this out yet. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It was my first time trying it when I recently tried it out. This is their pressed bronzer. The shade I have is cappuccino. Here it is. Um, I know the other bronzer I bring to my channel quite a bit is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Coco Naughty. Definitely check these two bronzers out. These two definitely my top two favorites. Um, this is what cappuccino looks like. And I heard so much about the bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I decided, let me see what they talking about. I tried it out. I was like, oh, okay, now I see why. They really like this bronzer. This is a really buttery bronzer. Goes on really good on the skin. And they have a nice selection of shades as my son loudly yawns for you guys. And then I have my daughter that can't use her inside voice. Oh, Lord. So definitely try this bronzer or try the Fenty Beauty bronzer. Um, these bronzers are really, really, really good. There we go. So we got that in to the skin. So we got that into the skin. Absolutely love this bronzer. I love it. That and the Fenty Beauty bronzers. My daughter was trying to get me to get um, Mocha Mommy, and I didn't get Mocha Mommy. It's a it's the deepest shade for Fenty Beauty, but it's really really red. And I may end up getting Mocha Mommy bronzer, but I may only use it like if I want to do. Um, a very simple eye makeup because I see a lot of YouTubers use it for eye, for their eyeshadow. So I'm not using blush today, but I am using a highlighter. Definitely recommend check out the highlighters from Fenty Beauty. This is their Kilowatt highlighters. The shades I have is Ginger Binge Moscow Mule. Um, I did see they are having a sale, additional sale, if you go on the Fenty Beauty website, they're having a sale on their most popular highlighter, um, Trophy Wife. I don't like Trophy Wife. It's too yellow. But definitely try out their Kilowatt highlighters. Um, there is another Kilowatt highlighter I really want to uh, take a look at. I really do like. So I'm just going to put a little. It's also going to bring a little color back. See, what y'all didn't notice is my son is sitting right here and he just sat there and asked me a whole question that could have waited till I was done. Oh, I'm so sorry. Told you, they don't have to be on the camera for the comedy. They don't. There we go, bring in a little color here. And I have literally dipped into this highlighter a lot. 
This is what the highlighter looks like. This is the one of the original highlighters she came out with when um, Fenty Beauty first came out back in 2017. I absolutely love. And she did come out with some new things, which, again, I will be doing a review on updated Fenty Beauty. She came out with some cream highlighters, cream blushes. I got I got, I got that. I got it. Um, so definitely check it out. Next, eyeshadow. Okay. So those of you that are new to my channel, y'all know my... I'm shooting a whole video and my daughter's mouth is about as loud as it can get. Comedy for you guys. Lord, this girl is loud. So, before I was rudely interrupted with her video thing that's still going on and still being loud about it y'all know uh, my absolute favorite eyeshadow palette is the jackie Ina collab with abh check the sephora website for that eyeshadow palette i believe i did see it on the website and I believe it may be on sale another eyeshadow palette that's on sale right now on the sephora website is the carly bible collab with abh check that out it is currently on sale but the eyeshadow palette i'm going to go with today this is the amrezy palette with abh again use the discount for the sephora vib sale to pick this um eyeshadow palette up this eyeshadow palette is 49 dollars on sephora's website but again use the um discount from vib sale so take advantage of it i already have things on my cart Right now on Sephora, I just got to click place order and I get a discount. So, yeah, because every time I go to Sephora and I use my discount, I always say discount double check. I did that with my lab, but the last Sephora VIB sale, I, I walked out of there. I even had the ladies laughing in Sephora. I said, discount double check. Yes. I'm I love when they have this VIB sale. I really do. Because my kids know I have no problem dropping a couple hundred dollars in Sephora. They know. They know. And see my son looking at me crazy like, yeah. I know, I know. Anyway, Amrezy Palette, ABH. Check it out. It is on Sephora's website. So definitely check it out. Um, The shade I am going to go with. She got a lot of shades I can go with. Oops. Really? Rude. Yeah. Well, you know what? I got this gold shirt on representing LSU. So I'm going to do the shade 1988, which is this brown shade right here. So I'm going to do the shade 1988. And if you're not, if you're not familiar with uh, ABH's um, eyeshadow palettes, lots of pigment. And I've worn this shade before. I really like this shade. I really do like this shade. I started to do the use the Carly Bible palette, but I'm like, nah. Yeah. And I know I have bought the Jackie Ina palette on this channel a lot. <laughs> so I want to change it up. Another good eyeshadow palette. I don't. I didn't check to see if they if um, Sephora still has it. Another good eyeshadow palette. And I know he has since come out with a new eyeshadow palette. Check out Artist Couture. Check and see if that Midnight Maven palette is still available at Sephora. I'm not sure. I didn't check for it. But Artist Couture you can find at Sephora. And my Midnight Maven eyeshadow palette I got. I got it from Sephora. 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 They're having their VIB sale. It's going on right now. I have a couple of things in my cart. I just got a quick place order. I think I'm going to do that today. Sephora is the most expensive I know. I, I had my kids in the store one time, and they were still trying to figure out who had that $125 eyeshadow palette. I think oh. I know who it was. It may have been one of those mothership palettes from Pat McGrath, because I know her eyeshadow palettes are very expensive. And I am very basic. I don't go out the box with my eyeshadows. I do 
two shades and that's it. I don't go overboard with my eyeshadows. So the shimmer I'm going to put on my lid today. Hmm, she, got a, she got a couple of press glitters I really like. Hmm, you know what? Let's go with... I'm actually debating between three shades, three shimmers. Well, it's like two pressed glitters, two shimmers. I'm at three, it's four, really. I'm gonna go with Dragon. Let's go with Dragon. Why not? Let's go with Dragon. This is it's this shimmer right here next to the blue. So I'm gonna do Dragon. And then next I, to the blue. Yeah. He's up here doing his schoolwork and he can still hear me. He's got his Chromebook, got his earbuds in, and he's in Google Classroom. What you doing today? Yes, because he left a message. What you doing? It's it's saying live online chat at two AM on Teams. Oh, okay. Well, see, since we're doing going, going into it last time. oh, you couldn't. Yeah, since all this COVID stuff going on, um, they're now doing distance learning. And his teacher left a message for me just to make sure he had his Chromebook and so forth, which was very, very nice. And this is actually one of Kendrick's favorite teachers. I should say the favorite teacher, <laughs> Mr. Griffin. No? That's my second one. Oh, that's your second one. Oh, that's Miss. Okay. All right. Well, it was very nice for him to make sure you had your Chromebook. So that's what he's doing. So he's right here, but he's doing the schoolwork. So we're gonna go with dragon today. Kind of do a little gold on my eyes, a little, you know, since it's the NFL draft and I do have my LSU Tigers on. Actually, a few LSU Tigers. We got a couple of them going in the first round. Of course, for sure, for sure, we know it's Joe Bureau. I really like this shade. Oh, I really like this shade. There we go. So we're going to go with that. So again, check out the Amrezy palette. The Amrezy palette is available on Sephora's website currently for $49. But again, take advantage of the VIB sale. So I'm going to go back with this brush and combine the two. And actually make this look a little bit better. There we go. So we got that done. So again, check out the Amrezy palette. Next, I'm going to set my face. This is one of my favorite setting sprays. Check it out on Sephora's website. This is from Urban Decay. It is their all-nighter setting spray. I have the smaller one. This the smaller one, I believe, is $15. Their bigger one, I believe, it's $25, $30, I think. But again, they're both on Sephora's website, so check it out. This is actually my second bottle. Or third bottle, or whatever bottle. Yeah, I, I didn't went through a couple of these. <laughs> So I let that sit on the face for a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with mascara. This mascara, I really like this mascara. What are you laughing at? Oh, babe, I'm a glass okay, anyway, I'm still doing a video. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told you, don't have to be on the camera for the comedy. So for mascara, I'm gonna, we're going to go with Smashbox. So this is the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. So let's go with Smashbox today. Oh, my phone is lighting up. Literally, after I finish with this, I'm headed into the office. And for those of you that are new to my channel, I do not wear false lashes. No.
And another setting spray I'm going to be trying out on my channel soon. Um, again, uh, Fenty Beauty came out with a lot of things, a lot of new stuff. And they do have a new setting mist. So if you want to check that setting mist out, check it out while they have the VIB sale. Last but not least, lips. I actually had to think about this one. Because I actually was going back between two brands. But I said, you know what, let me keep it safe. So I am going to go with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy. 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 I thought it was another word until I had to look and say, oh. Because when I picked this up, I picked this up with my husband. And, oh, wait, you thought it was. Oh, uh, yeah. And my husband said, he just, I said, I, I ain't got my glasses on. Yeah. So it's fussy. Because I actually wasn't sure if I was going to go with this one. I have NARS. I have Anastasia Beverly Hill. I, I didn't know which one I was going to go with. But I said, you know what? Let me play it safe. I'm going to go with what I know. Fenty Beauty. But, but I said, I don't I, I know. I know. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm not done. Oh. Yeah, I told y'all. So that is it um, with this Sephora VIB sale makeup look. Some suggestions and recommendations for you to try out. Um, so yeah, try the gloss bombs from Fenty Beauty. I know I have a lot of Fenty up here. Try it out. It is really, really good. Um, I also have this Stunna Lip Paints. Um, I have actually a couple other than Fussy. I have the original um, Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. And I have one of their newer uh, gloss bombs. Hadn't too long came out with. I have that as well. Um, the Stunner Lip Paint I have is Unveil. And I recently got Unbutton. So try that out. Also try out NARS. Check out NARS's lipsticks and lip gloss. Check out NARS. Um, the one I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's okay. It's a um, matte um, lipstick. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But again, if you're, you're into the matte lipsticks, check out Anastasia Beverly Hills. They, they have a wide range of selections. Now, the gloss bombs are $18, so it's not too bad. But again, if you want to take advantage, go ahead and take advantage of that. So this is it. This is the final look, and hopefully 40 Plus Club approved. And again, hopefully... I've given you some suggestions for you to try out during this Sephora VIB sale. So, with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.